I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play DMCA Sky. So, oh my, that's loud. This was originally a Mario and No Man's Sky crossover called No Mario Sky. And since Nintendo is incredibly rabid lately, um, in less than, I think, four days, they managed to uh, send a DMCA notice. Obviously, No Man's Sky did not do that, because they're not completely insane. Um, Nintendo recently sent a DMCA to about 530 or so fan games on Game Jolt. So, the AM2R is not, you know, it's not a change of pace, it's not, you know, anything... Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, it's... You know, it's just Nintendo policy to, you know, hate their own fans and destroy anything resembling actual Metroid, which is just great. And, um, so this is a lighthearted parody, um, f made for, uh, Ludum Dare, which is a 72-hour game jam if you're not familiar. This is actually made by, um, the developer of, uh, Moon Man. Um, this is probably all of the more No Man's Sky content you're likely to get from me anytime soon, to be quite honest. Thank you, Finn, but Princess Mango is on another planet. Oh, oh yeah, tap X. To use your spaceship. Ah, here we go. But we've got seamless planet to planet, totally non infringing exploration. So this is a game that really clearly falls under the parody rules of, you know, fair use, but uh, corporations don't care about things like that. And the problem with cor with um, copyright laws in the United States is that corporations are really favored incredibly strongly, or rather, copyright holders, but you know, mostly corporations. And um, so that means... Basically, you know, nobody has the ability to defend against, you know, defend for fair use because, um, here we go. You know, you need a lawyer and all that crap. Oh. That's weird. On the Xbox controller, the, um, the A button summons the ship and X is jump. So yeah, I believe the description was like fives of Goombas and all sorts of different planets, you know, it's... I, I think everything except level 1-1, one, one, obviously, is uh, procedurally generated. I love those Goombas in the uh, things. That's so polite. So yeah, everything else. Moombas. 14. These are apparently Moombas. can't tell if it's a game or my controller is wigging out a little bit, but sometimes it feels a little laggy. I have the Xbox One um, wireless adapter thingy, and anytime you pull the USB cord on, it's currently on a uh, on a USB hub, so I could you know have it in a different room. Um, anytime it loses po power, or you know I unplug the USB thing, it just completely forgets its connection, and it's an absolute nightmare to get it back on. I have no idea what the trick is, but I press both of the buttons to sync, and it's just like, oh wait, we want that. And it's just like, no, nah, I, I don't think I want to sync today, you know? I, I just want to, you know, be here disconnected and completely useless to you, tap tap. So I'm currently playing it with it plugged in, I, I don't know why. I just need to put it in a special USB port that I never unplug. Um, yeah. Are the, are the red ones farther away or something? Why are the red ones so hard to reach? I, like I said, I, I haven't played No Man's Sky, I'm not really... And I'm not really too interested in the conversation about it either. Woo! Boom. Oh, dead. Okay. Oh, hey, whoa! Rude. Ah, okay. Huh? Okay, the spaceship controls are kind of weird. If you're already in the air... It's just always the A button, but, but, but jump turns into thrust once you're in the ship. <coughs> Sorry, blame Parker for my allergies. See, this is just a simple, you know, 
joke sort of game, and it's really pathetic that gaming is the one thing where, you know, parody and fan work is absolutely not respected in any capacity. Like, if you made a picture, you know, no one would DMC a picture. Really, there's no difference in between fan art and fan games, you know, copyright-wise. There's nothing in copyright law that says, hey, you can't make a game. You know, games are not magical, corporate-only entities. You know, a lot of people treat games like they're inherently more commercial than music or art, which is just complete crap. And by the way, almost every famous piece of art, you know, hanging in a museum, was commissioned by some incredibly rich motherfucker. Um, that's how art works. We, we've been on this planet before, actually. Um, yeah, art is an incredibly commercial thing. And just because lots of video games are commercial does not mean that they're any different from any other kind of art. All art is commercialized, or at least can be commercialized, and usually is. And uh, there's nothing inherently different about games that makes them not okay, you know, to make a parody about or to make art of. So... Like, imagine if Nintendo took down fan art and people were like, Well, you shouldn't have drawn Mario. I mean, uh, the outcome was obvious. Uh-oh. We are so doomed. I don't like this planet. <laughs> I don't like this planet at all. Ah. Oh. What happens when we game over? I guess we, we've kind of seen the point of the joke. Oh. oh, look at that one. That one's almost infringing. But see, yeah. Um, basically Nintendo has crawled up its own asshole, and, uh, I... I wish they'd change course, but Nintendo really never learns. They, uh, they're probably just gonna keep making the same mistakes and, uh, pissing off their own fans. I just wish... The one problem with Nintendo is that a lot of their fans are really rabid and just think anything Nintendo does ever is always going to be good. You know, Metroid Prime Federation Force, that was good because, I mean, N Nintendo did it. Nintendo doesn't do wrong things. So a bunch of people are saying a bunch of false things about, oh, they had to protect their copyright or else they lose it, which is blatantly false. I uh, put an article on my website. Um, it's true that you have to litigate after trademark disputes, but um, you can't lose copyright. You have to manually admit works into public domain. And even that's kind of iffy. It is incredibly difficult to lose copyright, and that is really a sad thing. If anything, copyright should be shorter than ever, and instead, sometimes I just go on the ship on accident. It's because of that A button. It's just confusing. But, um, yeah, if anything, copyright should be a lot shorter in the internet era. And instead, it's basically infinite at this point. And it's all because of Disney, oddly enough. Disney doesn't want people to be able to make Mickey Mouse crap. So every time Mickey Mouse's corp um, expiration comes up, they go litigate to Congress and Sonny Bono whines and stuff. And Congress is like, hey, well, uh, you totally didn't pay us a lot of money, but I'm gonna, you know, unconstitutionally extend copyright for basically eternity. Because you know what? Uh, no, no, no reason. No kickback reasons at all. It's just awful. We basically need to set fire to every single copyright law on the books. And that's why this trade, um, what is it, TPP? Trans-Pacific Trade Act, or whatever? It basically is strengthening copyright stuff that is already awful. And it has bipartisan hate, both Trump and Hillary. Wait, is Hillary for it or not? I know any, any reasonable person should be against it. It's just completely awful. Um, the... <laughs> not sure how that worked, but whatever. Ah! Ah! Okay. So obviously, the, the procedural generation is a little bit limited. It is a parody game. But anyway, basically the point is the copyright law stuff. Currently incredibly awful. Um, I really wish the younger generation cared more about fixing this, and I wish lawmakers are more receptive. It doesn't seem to be a hot button issue at all, even though it's a complete train wreck disaster. Awful bunch of garbage. And, uh, Nintendo's being really awful with their litigation. Um, it's one of those things where technically they might have the ability. That doesn't make it right. That doesn't, like, people say, oh, they have legal, you know, they have the legal ability to do that, and that makes it perfectly fine. Well, no, it fucking doesn't. 
you know, it's pretty similar to like, um, you know, a lot of people are talking about harassment on Twitter and stuff. Uh, usually that is, you know, legally, you know, people have, you know, you can't send people to jail for that. So, you know, technically it's legal. That doesn't mean you should do it. it doesn't mean you're a good person for doing it. It means you can be a completely fucking awful person and still be totally within the law. Uh, that's why I don't buy Disney products. Uh, I might make an exception for Kingdom Hearts 3, but I consider that more of a Square Enix product. But, uh, basically, I can't believe Disney is so high in a lot of people's minds. They're a really awful company. Um, but uh, I really wish fan blowback, like, I wish fans would, like, care more about things. It, it's really disappointing. But, um, unfortunately, this fan game, I, I didn't really think, you know, it's barely even a fan game. It's a, it's a parody. It's not even, like, you know, Mario 5, the non-bootleg edition. You know, it's clearly parody. Uh, any fair use trial would pretty, like, 99%, um, you know, go for, you know, this is valid fair use. But putting that to trial, you know, it's extremely prohibitive. You know, it's cost prohibitive because, you know, you have to get a lawyer, you have to spend a lot of your life, you know, fighting for something that, you know, you really don't care that much about. It's just, ugh, it's all shit. Everything involving copyright currently is shit. And that's why, um, open source licenses kind of screwed the pooch. Because they kind of went for this, like, you know, they went for openness, like, free as in free beer, but not free as in free speech. Um, because you can't use a lot of open source stuff in commercial software, and a lot of stuff is commercial software, and it just makes, like, like, say you made a video codec, and you say you can't use it in any commercial software. Well, suddenly, Google Chrome can't use your video codec. So your video codec is basically worthless. Uh, it's kind of a different issue from copyright, but, you know, it is licensing. It's still intellectual property law. And... What's this What's this white one? Oh, wait, no, that's just... That's just a gr yellow one hiding behind a, a blue one. But yeah, that is... DMCA Sky X um, No Mario Sky. I did not unfortunately get to download No Mario Sky, so I played this one instead. But yeah, that's just my rant for DMCA for now. You, you probably already, you might have already known my position, but uh, I think it should pretty much be the default position that any sane person has. But uh, apparently, a lot of people are stupid, so uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, this is No DMCA Sky. I am Sir Taptown. Please don't sue me, you stupid assholes.